Well, I'm not going to be sorry to see the end of this place. Although it might be just the start. We're going to stop up ahead and have a look at some things on the Salton Sea. But from what I've learned, this is a dead sea. No inlet, no outlet. It was filled by accident when an irrigation canal burst and filled it up and became a lake. It was quite a place at one time, but it's dead brown water and dead fish bones for a shore. Pretty damn uh, depressing place, that's for sure. Actually, right now we are 62 feet below sea level here south of Brawley, Arizona. I don't know if you can see it, but on the sugar manufacturing, they got a mark there that shows the sea level. Lots of agriculture around here. Looks like they grow a lot of hay, a lot of vegetables. Saw a big uh, feedlot, looked like a dairy cow. But man, there had to be 50,000. farther south I get, the greener it gets. I guess that's what irrigation will do for you. Even on my GPS there in the bottom left corner, it shows me we're minus 60, 41 right now. Well, we're on the big highway again. We're heading east toward Yuma. We had our little excitement there on that two lane, went through a couple of big, big towns. Almost tried to get lost, but made it out of there. Anyway, we're going to get out of this population density and go find some peace and quiet. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's the, that's the wall, the border fence between the United States and Mexico. There's lots of uh, border patrol agents running around. We're keeping an eye on things. sand dunes. Sand dunes everywhere. A couple more miles down this road, we should come to our home for the night. I don't think anybody out here will bother us. Out here. Well, we landed. Back west, there's the sand dunes. Got a neighbor over there. And over those mountains is Yuma. So here we are for the night. Oh, yeah. Got the antenna up. I got TV finally.